Hello everyone and welcome for another video sponsored by the legendary Cobra Club. So today the video is about flipping. Uh, what exactly means flipping and how to do it. So the next time you can shine in the company when the topic is discussed and hopefully also do some nice profits. So today we are going to talk about what is flipping, how to flip and risks. So what is flipping? Basically flipping means buy low, sell high. And there are two ways of flipping things. Usually the easiest one is to be able to buy at mint, to be able to mint your NFT, meaning you're able to buy in the first ones when the collection is launched, meaning you're buying at the lowest price on the market, at least at the launch price. So you're buying, let's say for 0.1 ETH, and thanks to the hype or whatever, the price is then going to one ETH. You bought low, you sold high, thanks to having access to the mint. The second way is having access to the secondary market, meaning you will buy an NFT that will be already minted, that will be already listed on a marketplace like OpenSea, and you will be able to buy it low and to sell it high a bit later. How to do it? Basically, you have five key elements. Utility and roadmap of the project. Basically, what is the utility of the NFT? What is the roadmap of the project? Where are you, for example, if it's at the mint, the roadmap is most likely not completed. You are either at 20, 30, 50% of the roadmap, and you can assess if in the future, basically, there is a potential for an upside. Also checking the founding team, meaning the people creating the project. If you take, for example, the other side that has been dropped recently, basically you cannot play against them. The, everything that the Google Apps released is making banks. So, for example, this kind of founding team with a good track record and projects that actually stick in, in the top performers or the ones you should invest in. The community, it's also very important, especially for NFTs that are based on art or rarity, it's very important to have a strong community that will support the project. The association also, who are the people that are sponsoring this project, promoting this project, if you have some famous influencers or people that get associated with it, or even once after it's minted, if you take today the board APO club, the bake, you see all the people that are associated with it as holders that actually give value and legitimacy to the project. And at the end, the fifth point is the art. Is the art good or bad? So those are points to take in account and they can be slightly different whether you're trying to flip at mint or trying to flip on the secondary market. If you flip at mint, there is also a part of risk that everything that is being built before is just hype and there is no actual things that will stick after that. When it's on the secondary market, the art, you can already see it. Uh, the community, you can also already see it. And you can also realize if the roadmap, the utility, are actually completed and actually being used. So basically, you can check the trades, the rarity. It's also some criteria in terms of buying your NFT. If you're basically investing in a collection that is based on trades and rarity on art, basically you want to have something that is in the top 100 uh, NFTs, the top 100 rarest NFTs, rather than the last 100. The volume, if you are buying on a secondary market, it's, in, it's very important to check the volume on OpenSea to see that there is actually a lot of buy and sell, especially buy because you want to be able to buy something and resell it. So you want to have people that will be able to buy after you. And also check the announcement versus the roadmap. Check what is being disclosed about the project, what has already, what has already been done and what is going to come because you can also project yourself that with a new utility that will pop up in one month, you will, the NFT itself will actually take some value. So the risks, we saw it a bit earlier, but basically trying to flip with the mint always has a risk because when you're minting, you don't know if the hype is gonna be sustainable. You don't know if things are gonna stay this way. It's a bit less risky when you're buying on a secondary market, especially if you checked everything coming from the project. But basically, trying to flip with a mint always has a part of risk. Market crash can always happen that uh, if there is a big market crash, but usually 
NFTs are actually safe from the market crash because if the cryptos are crashing, basically the, the NFT market is actually pumping. So it's actually a good thing, good thing because the cheaper ETH is, basically the cheaper the NFTs are. So this is why usually it pumps. And low volume. If you see a collection with a very low volume, don't try to assume now it's okay. When they will release the new utility, it's gonna get better. If there is a low volume, then it's very likely that the volume is not gonna change. So basically, this is a very, very basic introduction on how do we assess a project when we want to flip because we are we have a long-term portfolio and we have flip uh, wallet in a, in a in order to be able to just make some easy profits. So this is basically some of the main criteria that we are using whenever we are trying to flip an NFT. And if you want us to get even more into the details, please ask me under this video in the Discord chat and I will be more than happy to answer you. Have a good one guys and I will see you later for another video.